Howdy folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Incredible Hulk Hulk action figure. Uh, this figure series was based off of the uh, Incredible Hulk movie uh, a couple years ago, I believe. Uh, the, the Ed Norton uh, Hulk movie. And um, these figures have been clearanced down to $5 at Toys R Us for quite a while. Um, there are several versions of the Hulk, um, and, but a lot of them have that uh, gimmick feature. And I wanted to get one that uh, didn't have uh, any gimmicks or minimize the gimmicks if possible. And uh, of all the Hulk figures, this is the one that seemed to be uh, the least gimmicky. Um, the, the only gimmick is really that uh, steel beam, but not the figure. Uh, taking a look at the figure in the package, you can see it's the Hulk. Um, and Big and green. He's got the uh, steel eye beam in his hand there, and he's got nice, uh, nice presentation there. And he's on the back. Uh, he's got a picture of the Hulk. Uh, this one, uh, the picture looks a lot greener than the actual figure itself. Um, it says it's superposable here. And it's got a preview of other figures in the line. You have the Mega Clap Hulk. You see the, the with the gimmick feature. Uh, the Abomination with the Steel Pipe Weapon. And Power Punch Hulk uh, with Power Smash Attack. Another figure with a gimmick on there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out of the package. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and the Hulk is busted out of his package and the first thing we'll take a look at is the uh, catalog of Hulk items uh, that came with the figure. It's a nice uh, catalog. It has all the uh, Hulk related items and movie related items uh, on several pages. It's pretty neat. Uh, Iron Man makes a guest appearance in a Hulk catalog. And the uh, Hasbro was even nice enough to include a product checklist so you can get all those Hulk items with all those action gimmicks. Okay. Uh, the accessory that came with the Hulk is the steel eye beam. It does fit well in his hand on here. And it, it actually comes, it's uh, two pieces uh, that's attached via a peg on here. You can take a look at some of the details of the... There's the hole. Here's the the other end of the I-beam. Basically just... It holds well... Oops, excuse me. It holds well together. Um, it doesn't f fall apart. Uh, it doesn't fall off easily. So It's got the little rivets uh, on the beam. So it's that's a nice accessory. So it's made of a softer rubber, not completely hard uh, uh, plastic. Taking a look at the Hulk figure himself. Um, like I said, um, he's not as green as what's pictured on the back of the package. He's got a mix of uh, brown uh, blended in. I don't know if it shows well on the video or not, but um, you can see a little bit of um, brownish here and along his arms and legs. Um, so he, he, he's more of a dull green color. And I'm trying to remember, I can't remember if that better represents the Hulk in the movie or not. It's been a while since I saw the movies, so I'm, I, I can't recall if this is uh, more the, like uh more of this, uh, like the movie, or if it's more of a production error, but I think it's more of the movie. thing I noticed on here is, um, the peg, um, right here for the joints on the foot. It's colored blue. I can understand over here on the knee because it blends well with the pants, but I don't know what's up with the blue down at the, at the, uh, foot here. 
I thought that was kind of interesting. I mean, it's that's the only place it's kind of off because, like, on the hands and elbows, the color of the peg is this matches well. You know, it just seems kind of off on the foot. So, but it's not nice and detailed. It's got some sculpting on the pants there. He's got the pants pocket. If you can see that there. So, but it's a uh, head seems a, a little small compared to the rest of the body. But I'm not going to complain too much for five dollars. Uh, going over the articulation, uh, the head does go all the way around. It does go down and up quite a bit. So I'm I'm happy with that. I like that it does go up quite a ways. Uh, the arms, they go all the way around, uh, they go out, but not too much, it doesn't go out too much. Uh, I think it's due to the bulk of the muscle. Uh, rotates at the bicep, bends at the elbow, and rotates at the elbow. And the wrists rotate all the way around and also bend up and down as well. There's no chest articulation or torso articulation. does have waist articulation. And it does bend up and down at the waist as well a little bit. The leg rotates all the way around. Uh, it does um, go out and back to the side. Uh, no thigh articulation. Uh, he's got a sh pretty sh uh, short thigh anyways. does bend at the knee and rotate at the knee. The, uh, doesn't bend back too much due to the pant leg on there. And the leg bends up and down and... I mean the foot bends up and down and rotates all the way around as well. So, uh... It is indeed uh, pretty much uh, superposable. Um, other than just a few places, but due to the bulk of the muscle or the pant leg. But it, it, it does uh, pose in a uh, in a lot of positions, so uh, I'm quite happy for a uh, five dollar figure. Uh, and pretty, um, pretty happy. So, thanks uh, for watching, and I'll see you next time.